Alléluia. Alléluia. Okay. Thank you, Jesus. Can everyone hear me? Please, if you can hear me, just type, I am blessed. Hallelujah. <laughs> Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, if you are on live with me, let me see your comments in the chat session, please. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We bless God. We bless God. Let's wait for others to join. And then uh, I'm seeing a little difference between Zoom life and uh, YouTube life. But it's okay. And uh, we have uh, started uh, the YouTube session by the grace of God. So if you are on, just let me know by typing, leaving a comment, and let me know where you are joining in from, all to the glory of God, all to the glory of God. It's going to be an awesome evening. It's going to be an awesome evening in the presence of God. We have been waiting for this moment for a long time. I celebrate God. I celebrate God. We appreciate him. We appreciate him. Please, I uh, invite others, share the link, leave a comment in, on your social media and do let people know that we are live. We'll be treating the mantle and the messenger tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. God himself is faithful. It's worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. It's worthy to be praised. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Reko daba gosha gadesh. Lele kadia dore gedesh. Ego zogo dosh. Meko go to buy us or go to go. We are alive. We are alive. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, people be, are you inviting people? Are you inviting your friends? Letting them know that we are alive. Letting them know that we are alive. We celebrate God. We celebrate God. We are appreciating. Can you hear me? Hallelujah. Can somebody leave a uh, comment in the message session so I will know? If you can hear me clearly. If you can hear me clearly. I'm trying to put the the audio and the volume in place. The audio and the volume in place. Can you leave a message on your on YouTube handle so I will see? Whoever is online, if you are online, just let me know where you are joining from. From Nigeria, from the US, from UK, from Canada. Okay, God bless you. God bless you. Sire, you can hear me. Thank you, thank you. Uh, I want you to leave a comment in the uh, comments, message in the comment section. Let me know where you are joining from and see if I can see it on my phone because I'm using my laptop to stream. Okay, God bless you. Thank you so much. I've seen that. Okay, we are now set to go. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. That's what I was waiting for. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, hallelujah. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Please share, share, share to your social media handles. Invite people, invite people. And if you have not subscribed to this channel, please subscribe. I don't want anybody to miss out. 
uh, by the help of the Holy Spirit, I just finished uh, the write-up and I discovered we may not be able to finish the class, complete the class today. And I don't want to be more than an hour or an hour, 30 minutes with Q&A. So if you are here, just joining us, you are welcome, you are welcome in the name of Jesus Christ. Let me know who you are. Let me know where you are joining us from. I can see my wife here, Pastor Grace Omende. You are blessed in the name of Jesus Christ. Is there any other person? Is there any other person? I see the number increasing. Please, I want to know where you are joining us from. Just leave a message, your name, and from wherever you are joining us from, in the name of Jesus, in the comment section, and I will see it. And let me also say here that if you have not subscribed, subscribe to this channel. Because by the grace of God, we are going to make it every Friday for now. Because on Saturdays, we'll be teaching uh, dream interpretations from on the seas, which is next Saturday. But every Friday evening like this, there will be topics that will be treated. I don't want to, you know, uh, push too hard. But I know that by the grace of God and by the leading of the Holy Spirit, there is no way you attend these classes and these um you know, messages, receive the message that will not be blessed in the name of Jesus Christ. None of you will live here the same way you came in Jesus' name. The Bible says that the entrance of the word of God gives light and attend to the simple. When you understand the word of God, you have received light. And Jesus also says, I'm the light of the world. Light is what gives complete destruction to darkness. It tells darkness where to go and where it belongs. Light. He says, you shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. Sometimes when we struggle with challenges, because we don't have the light. In John 1, verse 3 to 5, he says, in him was life, and the life was the light of men, and that light shining into darkness. Darkness cannot comprehend it. Not the light of Jesus Christ, never. So thank you so much. Thank you. Please continue to invite others. Continue to share in the name of Jesus Christ. We appreciate God. We appreciate God. We appreciate God. We appreciate God. Let's keep waiting for others. Let's keep waiting for others. If you're on our you um WhatsApp page, go type on WhatsApp. Let people know that we have started. We are on air. By the help of the Holy Spirit, we are on air. We are on air. We are on air. The link has been shared. Share on your Facebook page. Share on your Instagram. Let people know that the word of God is being preached. It's being preached. The Bible says in Acts 6 verse 7, say the word of God increase. The word of God increase. The word of God increase. The mantle and the messenger is what we are portraying today. If you can type the title, type it on the uh, on the chat button. The mantle and the messenger. Please, can someone type that for us? You can type it two or three times. The mantle and the messenger. The mantle and the messenger. So, so that whoever is joining us for the first time that may not know what we are talking about, when it goes through this, this uh, chat session, it will see he or she will see the mantle and the messenger. The mantle and the messenger will invite the Holy Spirit to teach us tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. And the messenger. Hallelujah. The mantle and the messenger. God is faithful. Somebody is greeting me. Let me invite him to this class. La Kata Kata. Invite your friends. Let them know what God is doing. The mantle and the messenger. Invite your friends. Every one of them. Let them know what God is doing. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Ekoko koto koto koto. Le korabado shegede gede. Eko sagada garagada. Le kayado regede gede. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. It is well with us in the name of Jesus Christ. It is well with us in the name of Jesus Christ. Your purpose of being here tonight, eto labaragada. God shall let that purpose be established. Your reason for coming here tonight, whatever be your heart desire, whatever you have in mind that you expect to get from this platform, God will release that to you in the name of Jesus Christ. You will not go back in vain. You will not go back in shame in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you. Please share the link. Please share the link. The link is available on your WhatsApp, wherever you got it from. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Later, Basa Kata, you are welcome. You are welcome, everyone. It is well with you. Continue to invite people and press click on the like button. If you have not subscribed, subscribe as we are about to begin. And as you are joining us, please let us know where you are joining us from in the name of Jesus Christ. It is well with you. Like I said, type, thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus, and type the title. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus, and type the title. The mantle and the messenger. 
as a way of introduction before we pray tonight, Akekuze Godogodo, Eligada Gada Gada. I want to see at least 25 people before we even start the training, the teaching. At least 25 people. I'm still looking at the screen. Let it increase from your side. We are only on YouTube tonight. And we are trying to grow this channel so that more messages of this kind will be coming to us in the name of Jesus Christ. You are welcome. You are welcome. It is well with you in the name of Jesus Christ. The mantle and the messenger. The mantle and the messenger. In the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you. Just bring the gift thanks to God as we start. Leko Baba Shakata Kata. If you speak in tongues, speak in tongues. Because it's the Holy Spirit that teaches. Holy Ghost! Akati Kash! I'm already feeling the anointing. It's the Holy Spirit that teaches. Comparing spiritual things with spiritual. First Corinthians 2 13. I let Dorodo Ebu Gabada. Eka Sakata Kata 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 Kata. Holy Ghost! Ya Tosha Godo. Oh no, Godo Godo. Lord, release your grace tonight. Release your grace tonight. Release your grace tonight. Release your grace tonight. Let there be an anointing to heal, to save and to deliver. In the name of Jesus, an anointing to heal, to save and to deliver. Mm -mm. Abula, he guasa kata kata, he di adore gede, he show go to go to go, he di se gede. Lord, we lay it at your feet. We lay it at your feet. We lay it at your feet. Everything, oh Baba, sakata kata, he vacha kate go to. He say my thought towards you is of good and not of evil to bring you to your expected end. Lord Jesus, le gabe se te te, he raga de gede gede, he Baba se gede gede, he go to go to go to, he she gede gede gede. We worship you. We worship. You. We worship you, the mighty man in battle, the God of all flesh. Lord, take all the glory. Lord, take all the glory. Lord, take all the glory. Re God, do God, do. E ba se gede. E jo God, do God. E ka se gede. E le gede ke. A re gede ke. On this mountain, they shall be delivered and holiness. The righteous shall possess their possession. In the name of Jesus, on this mountain, on this mountain, on this mountain, on this mountain, there shall be deliverance. E ro do. E ro do. E ro do. Fresh fire. Ma boke se gede, e ro kete kete kete, e jo koto koto koto, e le gara kete kete, a se koto, a se koto, a se koto, a se koto. We worship you. In Jesus' wonderful name, amen. You are the Lord, that is your name. You will never share your glory with anyone. You will never share your glory with anybody. Almighty God, that is your name. You are the Lord, that is your name. You will never share your glory with anyone. You will never share your glory with anybody. Almighty God, that is your name. Our God, we thank you in the name of Jesus Christ. As a way of introduction, I pray the Lord open your eyes tonight. The purpose why I believe why we are here is for God to give us direction. If you check the ministry of Elijah, Elisha was the messenger to Elijah. And Elisha tapped the anointing. I want to ask a question. Who was the messenger to Elisha? Who was the messenger to Elisha? If you read your Bible very well, you find out that after Gehazi left, the second servant, who was Elisha's servant, did not still tap the anointing. He did not get the mantle. And I was not there. And I know of a fact that whether Gehazi or the second servant who served Elisha should have heard of the story that the mantle Abus Elodor Shegeregede Yakakosi Gadagada that Elisha Elisha was using was gotten from an encounter he had with Elijah. What did Gehazi? What did the second servant that served Elisha do? With the mantle that Elisha collected from Elijah. If you listen to me tonight, you know that we are not on this platform to play. Many people are praying for God's grace to come upon my kind. The unbelievers are waiting 
In Romans 8, 19, Raes Okatakata, he said the entire world, they are waiting endlessly for the manifestation of the source of God. They are waiting. Believers are in church. They are believing God for an encounter, for a momentous time in their life where they will gain that power, that ushers, that grace. Meanwhile, mantles are flowing all over the streets. People are not getting it. They are not getting it. They are not getting it. A man of God served only one man. We'll be dealing more about the ministry of Elijah and Elisha tonight. He served just one man. The other prophet that were in the school, this is an introduction to this class. The other prophet that were in the school, they were mocking, they were looking like most believers are looking today. To see men of God all around your neighborhood, all around your community. Some of them are your friends. You are not praying. Say, Lord, whatever this man carry, whatever makes him him, Lord, I want a portion of it. We are going to pray tonight. Leos Adish Ogada. Please let me just quickly say this before we pray. If you don't have writing materials, when you come to Apostle Marvin's class, get writing materials. I don't want you to lose anything. We don't determine the days of encounter. It's the Almighty God that determines. He said, when you are coming to a preaching or a teaching class, have your heart prepared because the word that comes out from the word of the mouth of the, the mouth of the man of God it contains spirit. For it is spirit that quicken and the flesh profit nothing. The words that speak unto their spirit and their life. As simple as these words that are coming out from my mouth, because they come from the altar of prayer and consecration, that we have an impact meeting with your spirit in your life. All to the glory of God. Shall we pray tonight? Yesterday, by the humility and with the grace of God, I was ministering in my church in our midweek service. And by the help of the Holy Spirit, a prayer point was raised in the midst of that ministration. And what was the prayer point? I pray you tonight. I want us to pray together. If you are if you are not on now, currently with us, and you listen to this broadcast later, please I beg you, pray this prayer point with the whole of your heart. Pray it as if you were alive with us. Because this video is going to be on air forever. Leo does a badash. Anytime you listen to a pray this prayer point, it was inspired by the Holy Spirit. In Proverbs 25, verse 2, the Bible says, It says, It is the glory of God to conceal things. It is the turn of men, kings, to search out the matter. You are here, I'm here tonight. Like I mentioned briefly yesterday, the issue that matters to you are not the issue that matters to me. The issue that bothers you and troubles you are not the one that troubles me. As our faces are different, our needs are different. So, so therefore, the secrets that God is hiding from you, hiding from your family, is different from the ones that is hiding from me and my family. Their secrets is hiding concerning your children. Their secret is hiding because I need your marriage. We are going to pray tonight. Under this corporate anointing by the help of the Holy Spirit, he said, where two or three are gathered in my name, then they are missed. Say, Lord Jesus, by the help of the Holy Spirit, everything you have hidden concerning my life that I ought to know and pray about that will bring me breakthrough, Lord, reveal to me. In the name of Jesus, your prayer now is a part of searching them out. It is, it is the honor of king to search out the things that God has hidden. In Psalm 25 verse 14, he said, The secret of the Lord is with them that fear him. So then he will show him his covenant. As we are praying tonight, God will show you his covenant. Let us put it into prayer. Lord Jesus, everything you have hidden that I ought to have known by now, that will bring progress to my life, progress to my family, to progress to my business, progress to my children. If I were you, I will pray. Jesus Christ, have mercy. Have mercy. He said, no one that come unto me, I will know why cast out. A gatekoto, a man with a contrite heart, with a broken spirit, I will not cast him out. Lord, have mercy upon my marriage. Have mercy upon my marriage. Eko degede is the prayer of mercy that God hears. Oh, look, any time of the day that they are nothing, before you have mercy. Have mercy upon my children. Have mercy upon my generation. Have mercy upon the ministers of God that are tired and weak. Have mercy. 
have mercy. Have mercy upon my finances. Have mercy upon my health, Holy Spirit. Have mercy. I don't know what to do. Jiko baga degu daga legi dege dege to go. Adye to rogodo. Adye to rogodo. Holy Ghost. Ya kwasa kata kata kata. Have mercy. Have mercy. Have mercy. Have mercy. Have mercy. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. We are going to take a second prayer point. If If you have time, please invite others. Remind them that the administration has started. Every instrument, say every instrument, every instrument generated from a bobo kata, demonic kovu, every instrument generated from occultic utter, that are drunk blood are meant to challenge me. Let them be roasted by fire in the name of Jesus. Let them be roasted by fire. Let those instruments, okay, but what targeted or delicate, arranged to challenge me, challenge my spiritual life, to bring laziness, to bring lukewarmness around my life. Holy Ghost fire. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' wonderful name, we have prayed. Amen. Hallelujah. I was saying something. I say, if Elijah's servants have known, if they have been the Spirit, they would have known that the man, the man that they are, that, that they are serving, is a man that was able to collect a double portion anointing from one of the greatest prophets that ever lived. If those servants that came, say, Lord, orchestrate my steps. Hey, he said the righteous, the step of a good man, they are ordered by God. Lord Jesus, your right hand, the class have started. Lord Jesus, in 2024, order my step. It's only one person that God will order your step to me. Your life will turn around 360 degrees. Lord, order my step. Hold down my step. And when I meet my destiny helper, may I not miss them. In the name of Jesus. When you order my step to meet my destiny helper, may I not miss them. In the name of Jesus Christ. Only one encounter. Only one encounter. Only one encounter. Listen. If the men that encountered Elisha, if they have known or it has been revealed to them by the help of the Holy Spirit, that. The man that we are following or serving at that time, who was Elisha, carried a double portion of the anointing that was upon Elijah. How can you be in Israel at that time, in Judea, in Jerusalem, and not know the story of Elijah? People, are you getting what I'm saying? How can you say you grew up in that era and you didn't know the one that destroyed 400 prophets of Baal. Elijah destroyed them. The whole city head of it. They gathered. People that came and served Elisha. And they forgot to ask for his anointing. They forgot to tap into the grace that's upon Elisha's life. Before we go into our deep teachings tonight, let's introduce the topic again. It's the mantle and the messenger. And from the look of things, this may be part one of it. So that when you are coming back next, you know how to invite others and share the message all to the glory of God. The church of Christ is marching forward and the gate of flesh shall not prevail. Alelo Zadosh. Then let me describe a mantle. Hey, see, this, this ministration is for me. <laughs> Holy Ghost, I thank you for what you are doing our days. Before I would define a mantle, let me describe it. Before I would describe, define a mantle, in fact, let's take a pause. Because I, I don't want people to come late. Somebody just join us. Let me share again. People may not know. Let me If you can share, share to your, your WhatsApp group. I want to share again. If I would start the class, let me share the link again to everybody that I know. When I share again, they'll know that we have started. If you can share, share. God bless you. I see the, the number is increasing. God bless everyone. I'm sharing. 
Share to everybody I know. Share. Go and share your Facebook. Share your Instagram. Thank you, Holy Spirit. And if you join us and you have not subscribed, please subscribe to this channel so that YouTube can see that our algorithm <laughs> is increasing. Hallelujah. Uh, she da -ga -da -ga -da -ga -da fresh oil. Oh, yeah. We worship you. It's a great day in God's presence. It's a great day in God's presence. So just give me a moment. Let me share because I want the people, God's children to receive his word. And if you are joining us, let me see where you are joining us from. Just leave a comment on the chat uh, session. And also, please, as you listen to me when I speak, if there's any word that hits your heart, leave it as a comment on the chat. Uh, um, you know, comment session. Leave a word there so that whoever listening to this broadcast will know what you got. If you listen to some YouTube videos, you see that we are, if, if it's point, then we are like the point there. So sometimes you may not have to listen to everything. You just see the point and go back inside and get the message proper. So please, it is well with you. That will be your effort and contribution to make this video, you know, worth it to the glory of God. I'm resharing so that people will know that we have forgotten. I'm resharing to the glory of God. Thank you, Jesus. So if you can share to your contacts, share to them. I said before I would define what a mantle is, let me describe a mantle. A mantle is a cloth. In, in fact, it's called clock. The clock is C-L-O-A-K. What does that mean? It's a big cloth. Right, that you can wear upon what you have already worn before. You already you are already dressed. You now wear a mantle on top of your cloth. That's why it's called clock or clock, depend how you pronounce it. So some people will say, Ah, okay, how do I know? It's a big in fact, in those days, you know, maybe in Jerusalem, it was windy. You know, it's most like it's a desert area. So for, for when you're already dressed, you now carry another, another big cloth, like go wear jackets in America. They now wear on top of what you already worn inside. Sometimes to hide what you are wearing on, on the inside, not to get stained, or maybe it's not warm enough and stuff like that. For those of us that come from Nigeria or Africa, maybe in your culture, or in Yoruba culture in Nigeria, they, they also wear it. I see ladies wear it. And they use expensive uh, uh, Materials to, 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 to sew the cloth sometimes. That extra cloth they put on top of it when they, they finish dressing. As I was writing earlier, I, I, this the name of this cloth came to me. Uh, is also okay. I think I think that's what Yoruba call, calls it. A, 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 a native cloth that is expensive and well designed. You now place on top of the other clothes. Women do it a lot that they have worn. Then for the men in Nigeria, you can call the Agbada that is under culture, uh, you know. Cultural kind of let me just say uniform is is uh, uh is, is what we wear on special occasions. But you already worn the the pants of the cut pants or trouser in Nigeria. You have worn the shirt inside. They now put on the agbada. That will not be like your cloak or your mantle. I hope I will really are getting the picture now. So uh, I need to describe that part to you very well so you can have a picture of what a mantle looks like. I remember those days when our grandmother would finish dressing. So go and bring is is uh is a, a part of the cloth that they are wearing, but they'll fold it in a way, they now place it on their shoulder, and that will not be like a mantle. It's of a special significance in the spirit uh, in, in, in spiritual world. God did not design that thing in the days of the prophets just for. Uh, you know, for uh, for carnality or just for close sake, no, or just to add to what they are wearing. No, it's not for design. It's for a purpose. Commanding authority, commanding power. So if you now understand what a mantle look like, like I tried to describe, actually a mantle is a cloth, but it's where the mantle is coming from that is not the issue. It's who is wearing the mantle that is not the issue. It's what was the what's the mantle being used for? It's not the issue. Otherwise, the mantle is a regular cloth. Like I said, do okay, do I'm wearing my sleeve inside now? I have a jacket on. This jacket can represent the mantle bear for this now. This is not big enough. In the days of the Israelites, right? The mantle was big and long. It gets to their ankle. 
even stays at their neck. There's they no hand. You can't put hand inside. You just flip it over your shoulder. It's a big clock. And when you wear it, in the days of children of Israel, it signifies a particular grace upon your life. I hope somebody is hearing me. Please, if you are being blessed, type I'm being blessed in the chat session. And if there's anything you get, please remember to type it there as well for those that will join us later or listen to this broadcast later. A mantle is a clock. Like I said, the clock is C-L-O-A-K. C-L-O-A-K, made of cloth. It's made of cloth. Mantle is a garment in the form of full cape that extends to the floor, joined at the neck, that is worn over the outer garment. Is worn as an outer garment. The one you already worn on, on top, you now put a mantle on top. It's the last, because it's bigger. A mantle in the natural sense is the cloak or outer garment for covering the body. You see, I'm trying to define after you have a picture of what I'm talking about. Definition, what is a mantle? Spiritual sense now. The purpose of this teaching is for you to recognize a mantle bearer when you see one. One of the benefits or purpose of today's meeting that will be applied to you is for you to recognize a mantle bearer when you see one. You know, I started in this, this class with that introduction of Elisha and Elijah. Elisha was the servant of Elijah. Elisha now had two servants in his days. None of them could recognize the mantle upon Elisha. <laughs> Thank you, Holy Spirit. Elisha utilized his own Gazi, Gazi messed his own up. He missed it. He misplaced it. That's in 2 Kings 5, 20 to 25. If you can write, write. I will just give some simple uh, definitions. A mantle represents an anointing. Listen to mantle now. Spiritual, because this is what we are going to. An empowerment. An assignment. Pack in a spiritual gift. That's it. A mantle represents an anointing. It's the other brother of anointing. You will get, we'll get there. An empowerment. An assignment. Packed in a spiritual gift. A mantle's symbolic meaning means that the righteous call, it means the righteous call and covering of God in fulfilling our destiny. A mantle as a symbol, for those, that, for those that understand the dream interpretation, if you see a mantle in a dream, it means the righteous covering or righteous call of God upon your life. And the covering that you have in fulfilling your assignment. By revelation, I say mantle is an extra you. It's an extra part of the anointing that God has already given to you to fulfill destiny. Please, just listen. I don't know how the Holy Spirit will interpret these ones to you, but as I'm trying to define them in different ways, I want you to understand. You okay, the part I'm in, I'm in now. These are revelations. So that you will not, when, whenever you hear mantle, not say, ah, a mantle is an extra me. Look at what came to me. All men are anointed, but not all men are men of mantles. We'll get to it here. A mantle is an extra you. It's not necessarily your anointing alone. No. Because there's a reason why God gave you a mantle. That's why a mantle is the elder brother of an anointing. It's the covering over your anointing. Hallelujah. All men are anointed. But not all men are mantle bearers. Hey. It is an authority God bestows upon you because see, see if you are right, write this part. Let's only speak to tell you the meaning later. I let cut cut It is an authority that God bestowed upon you because of the assignment or grace or increased responsibility to not carry a mantle. It's an anointing that God bestows upon you. He brought it upon you because of the new level of grace that came upon you, because of the anointing you now carry, because of the new responsibility you now carry. 
That's why I give you a mantle. Meaning, some people started this journey, they were not having mantle. <laughs> they were only anointed. The only thing will minister to you by himself. I only teach to a part, he will finish the rest. Some people were called to ministry. They were anointed, but they were not having mantle. Halfway, because of that, thank you, Holy Spirit, because of their assignment, because of their commitments, because of this, their seriousness, dedication to the call of God, God said, eh, eh, this boy cannot continue like this. So they, they want to destroy my child. He need more anointing. Please give him a... <laughs> give him a mantle. Many men and women would have served Elijah and Elijah would leave without them getting the signal that this man carried something extra. That this man carried something extra. How do we follow him? Otherwise, where were the prophets, sons of the prophets? When he got to Jordan, they were there. We'll read it now. He got to Jericho, they were there. He got to Bethel, they were there. Sons of the prophets. By name. May you not be part of those sons of prophets that will not know where they are going or where they are coming from. Like this, in our days, the church is shifting. The atmosphere is changing. May you be able to discern when God has dropped a fresh anointing upon the atmosphere. For the hearts that are prepared to receive. For in the last days, I'll pour out my spirit upon all flesh. The young man will prophesy. The old man will dream dreams. I will see visions. I will see visions. A mantle. It's an authority. Listen, it's an authority that God bestowed upon you because of an assignment or grace or responsibility which you now receive. Or you step into. Then you are not giving a mantle. If you listen to that statement very well, that means that person didn't come with a mantle in the beginning. There are many preachers like that today. You know that someone, some, some of them are your pastors. There are people that, that you, 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 you listen to on YouTube. They, are, they were not having that anointing before. But as they begin to serve, God said, take. So the way they do things, say, ah, look at this guy. Look at this man. Look at this woman. Why? A mantle is speaking. A mantle is not directly your anointing. It's an excess of anointing that you carry. Holy Ghost. It's not directly your anointing. That is why it's hard to just peg a mantle. You, you can't pin a mantle down. A man that carries a mantle, you can't predict him. But they, they do strange things. That's why I say it's not directly your anointing. Don't compare yourself with them. Their assignment will never be your assignment. That's John 3 verse 8. A righteous man, you can't predict where he's going or where he's coming from. They are like wings. What are mantle bearers? As I'm talking now with the help of the Holy Spirit, if you have someone that carries a mantle or you are a mantle bearer, the Holy Spirit will be telling you some of the things I'm saying that will be hitting your heart. Confirmation. Confirmation. Or if you know anybody that's a mantle bearer, as I'm defining them now, you, you will honestly will tell you that that, that pastor, that, 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 that brother, that, that, that uh, uh, prophet is a mantle bearer. You, you, you will know. That's why this class, we are going to be teaching it together. I'm checking the time. Once it's one hour, 15 minutes, I, I will stop so that you can ask questions. Let's try and stop it in one hour, 30 minutes. Next Friday, on that day, we'll, go, we'll come again. We'll continue from there. But at the end of this series, Come more is to come. You will say, ah, Lord, where is my own mantle? That is what I want God to do. So for the ministers that don't know whether they should ask or should not ask, you have been leading a, 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 a congregation for 10 years, for 15 years. If everything is kind of stale. Things are the way they are. Oh, you are never a pastor. I'm sorry. You are just a church member. But you are checking your life. The Bible you were reading for the first five years, to date, you don't still understand anything of your own. Let me explain something here. 
there's what we call so those the Holy Spirit began to teach me when it was just coming to ministry. I call it your faith for the day. Your faith for the day. When you open your Bible, right? The way I read, you are supposed to pick a word. That's why I don't rush reading my Bible. You are supposed to pick a word every day, even though it's just a line, to go with that thing, not chew it like food. As you are going to work, all these things have I spoken to you that your my word may remain in you, that your joy will be full. John 15, verse 7. All these things have I spoken unto you. That's John 15, verse 11, 11. All these things have I spoken unto you. You are saying it to yourself as you are going to work. You are cooking in the kitchen. These things have I spoken unto you that my joy may remain in you, that your joy will be full. The other day, you now read Acts 10, 38. Oh God, I lay as you just cannot say with Holy Ghost and power. I anointed him. That is your word for the day. Then you know what will happen? You now begin to find your own word in the scriptures. Words are applied to you. Is somebody blessed? If you are blessed, just type I'm blessed. And like I said, please, if there's any word that you get, maybe, the, maybe any definition of the mantle that applied to you, type it on the uh, comment section. Somebody will come tomorrow and say, ah, oh, this one, I got on that one. Before you know, the, the, the ministry of God will be moving. We, we, uh, it will continue. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I said... Because of God has sent upon your life, a mantle, a man's mantle distinguishes him easily hmm. among other anointed servants of God. Nothing distinguishes a man like his mantle. Nothing. Ah. Have you seen a very high mountain and other people will be other mountains will be compared with that mountain? You can't. You can't see many high mountains in a, in, in a region. No. That's why you see say the highest mountain in Africa, they will name it the highest mountain in the world, the highest mountain in South Africa, because they are not much. So when you are a man of mantle that carries excess anointing, you will be easily distinguished. Because of to manage that anointing, you need excess grace. What does that mean? You need more intimacy with God. You need more to be more careful what you say, where you go to, how much you fast, how much you pray, how much you laugh a lot. You don't say careless things. That's why men of those days that carry mantles, we are always in the wilderness. We are always in the wilderness. I know that in our days, there are not many wilderness. Everywhere is civilized. Imagine people that live in New York, now where I live. Where is the wilderness in New York? Everywhere is high-level city. They don't sleep here. You, if you know you are a mantle bearer, because those people of those days that bear mantle in the, in the scriptures, they were in the wilderness. You will not create your own wilderness for yourself. New generation wilderness you create for yourself. So that way, to hold your mantle. May God grant us understanding. A mantle speaks of an area. Listen to this. A mantle speaks of an area that is peculiar to you because of a level of dimension of that anointing that you carry. I will say this again. This is talking about specialized anointing. Let's say in the days of the healing uh, 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 evangelist, some of them were extra. Like one William Braham. William Braham was something else. Till he died, eh? If you've not read about, read about William Braham, when, he gave, when they gave birth to him, one light came from heaven, right? And came through the window. The mother and grandmother that were there, they saw it. Till William Braham died, the other light was in his head. You know how they, how they draw Jesus' picture? Do not put one light like this. Go, 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 go on YouTube, you see it. William Braham. William Biaro A-H-A-M. A healing minister with no appeal, with power. As he sees you, he will be the one to tell you the sickness. Have you seen something? May our generation not downgrade the grace of God. May our generation not commonize the grace of God. May people of old repeat themselves in our days. In the name of Jesus Christ. It will, be, it will look at you like this. Woman, woman, how are you? Woman, woman, okay, I can see. You have cataracts in your eyes. I can, the left eye, right? The left eye, right? It, it is gone. Hey! 
you, you feel pain, pain in your lower abdomen, your lower abdomen, even the back, right? Then with your left leg, it's not, the, the, oh, yeah, it's gone. It will be the one to tell you the sickness. Peculiar kind of anointing. It's time. If you are a healing minister, when you get to get with your grandma, you will pause. Because you need the Holy Spirit to tell you the sickness before you won't heal. A mantle speaks of an area that you are peculiar to you because of a level of dimension. I love that word. I remember in 2020, they asked where I was before. And my brother does not believe so much that God speaks to people, right? But something happened in his ministry. Hallelujah. <laughs> I don't argue with people. If you know me very well, as I argue, I'll just keep quiet. I'll not speak again or I'll run. I don't argue. What you have seen is what you have seen. What you have known is what you have known. And what you have written is what you have written. That's why I say it is written. I have tried to convince him that God speaks. He doesn't believe. I let him you know. Back in Nigeria, his father, daddy was sick. I know his father. Nobody called him to tell him in America. Are you listening? The, the date was COVID, 2020. They took him after the discharge daddy after a while. They took him home. Then I didn't know that. You know, which is a way that they can do and undo. They were manipulating the mass health, taking excuse from the Ministry of COVID. So daddy fell as ill again. They took daddy back to the hospital. They took daddy back to the hospital. Somebody is trying to join, thinking it's Zoom. They took daddy back to the hospital. As they took daddy back to the hospital. Meanwhile, by revelation, God made me to pray for the father. So when I prayed, God healed him. Well, before we get before God, before we get to that place. So he was sleeping in the night when the Holy Spirit tapped him. Because that was the second time they, they were taking him back to the hospital. Taking him back to the hospital. Holy Spirit tapped him to call his father. As he called his father and woke up, father told him, I'm in the hospital. Say what? He was shocked how God ministered to him. Then, second time coming to the hospital, I was in a vision, 2020. Jesus said something. He said, I've come to move you. Most of you have had that encounter. I stretched out my hand like this. There was light underneath my hand. Because Jesus has stretched my body. You know, it, it, I, it, in that vision, I was like a little child of like a three months or four months old. It was baiting me, stretched my hand, stretched my leg. Then when I stood up, he said, I've come to move you into higher dimensions of healings, the anointings in your hand. I pray for you tonight, whatever may be your ailment, whatever may be your sickness or your pain in your body, whatever the enemy may have destroyed, by the resurrection power of Jesus Christ, I stretch forth my hand. Because this is what Jesus told me in heaven. He said, when you stretch forth your hand, they'll be healed. I stretch forth my hand on this screen. Stretch forth your hand if you are there watching me. Stretch forth your hand. Connect to the grace of God upon my life. In the name of Jesus, receive your healing in every part of your body. In the name of Jesus. Jesus told me that encounter. He said, I've come to move you into higher dimensions of healings. The anointings in your hand. And to the glory of God, I saw this man's picture in heaven. It appeared in a frame. And I stretched forth my hand and prayed for that photograph in heaven. Few, no, it didn't stop there. Then in the physical, I now told the wife to bring a picture, the picture of the man. The man was in Nigeria. I was sick in the hospital. So the wife brought the phone 
and I lay us on the phone, the man's preacher through the phone. So I lay us on the preacher through the phone. Then the son was doubting. Because before, before he left for work, I, I told him, because the man was uh, on oxygen. It was a Tuesday, I can't forget. I said, Daddy can get off that oxygen mask between now and Friday. It doesn't take God anything. Say no. He said, I walk in the hospital. God cannot do it. I said, What are you talking about? God can break protocol. Thank God the wife agreed with me. They didn't agree. Long story short, it was the following day. Not even till that Friday, the following day, that night. <laughs> like he testified, because he called me in the morning, Mommy, where are you? Where are you? Come. I said, What? He said, Daddy is out of. Off the oxygen mask. I said, "What wow, is it really?" He said, "Yeah." I said, I, "I said, slow down. Do you believe that God can do it now?" Because he didn't get to three days. It was just under twenty-four hours. By the power of the Holy Ghost, he said the doctor has been calling him all night. Because doctors don't call; they send nurses to call assistants. But the doctor was calling his phone. He has the doctor's number. He said, "I was scared to pick. I was afraid." Because I thought they would tell me that my dad is dead. The doctor was calling because the doctor was so excited that someone that was on oxygen mask yesterday, to, to, today, it's, it's off the, the, the oxygen mask, it's off the room. See, I need to share this good news. My brother was scared to pick the call. <laughs> May God surprise you with good news. May God surprise your generation with good news. May God surprise your family with good news. In the name of Jesus Christ. We bless God. Please don't forget to subscribe. If you have not subscribed to the channel, subscribe. And I thank God we are on YouTube. If you came in late, you can always go back to the beginning and listen again. And please share. Share so you can be blessed. I always quote that scripture, the entrance of the word of God gives light. Understand to the simple. He says, you shall know the truth. The truth will set you free. The truth you know will set you free. Some of the things that are afflicting you and attacking you is because the enemy know you don't know the truth. They know you don't know the truth. Let me give you an example. I don't know where you live. Where I live, I think the bus is three dollars from where you have. If you want to take bus to the main, uh, where you can take the train to any other place, can the devil not come and tell me that Marvin, the bus is ten dollars? No, he will not tell me that because he know I know. The devil know that I know, I know, I know, and I know, no, to know that it's three dollars to take a bus in America. It was two dollars before. It was one dollar before. When I came to America in 2016, it was one dollar. The, the, the bus, was it two dollars? Oh, two dollars, two dollars, two dollars, it was two dollars. The night increase at one dollar. So, what you know, the enemy cannot confuse you. Never. That's why it's good to go for knowledge. Don't mind as you, oh, I'm in this apostle, I'm having this thing. I don't know what I'm learning. Hey, relax. When you know that we avoid you, I've only been saying that. They are asking you because they know you level of your knowledge. You're going to increase your knowledge in the name of Jesus. So we are still trying to define mantle. <laughs> I mean, in one hour we are defining mantle. Hallelujah. <laughs> I guess, I guess, I guess. Because I want you to get it. When you get it, it will be yours forever. For those of people that are just joining, I see the number has increased. Please type on the comment section. Let me know where you joined us from. Please. It will help the algorithm of this uh, broadcast from the YouTube session. And leave a comment. If there's any word that hits your heart as a revelation, as a light, type it there. It will bless somebody. Don't fail to type something on, uh, on the YouTube channel. And if you have not subscribed, subscribe. It is well with you. I say, mantle is an extra view. That is why it is transferable. For those, that, for those that are just joining us, I say, a mantle is an extra cloth you place upon what you already worn before. That's why it is transferable and placed on top of you of what you already have on. A mantle is an outer garment. That's why I say it's an outer garment. Everybody carries anointing, but not, not everybody carries a mantle. Is the mantle that you carry that enables you to go far with your ministry or the anointing you carry? Is the mantle 
that you carry or that you possess that enables you to go farther than others in the same level of ministry. I don't know if that thing makes sense to you. It's the mantle that you carry that gives you the confidence, the propensity, the zeal, the enthusiasm to press forward, to push harder. Because in some cases, it's because you are pushing. That's why they won't give you the mantle in any, any way. Because you are always hungry. We thought this boy would come and do like 200 people ministry in his locality. The same grace we gave you, that same grace we gave that other brother. And the brother is complaining. Lord, I am tired. I am tired. These people are not listening. Lord, I am tired. Every time I preach, I preach. No response. No encouragement. You are somebody else in the other area of the community. You know God is so smart. He will be checking two, two of you. Lord, I, I can't do this anymore. Look at me. I'm walking. I don't even have time to pray. I don't even have time to read the Bible. How can a pastor do, 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 walk in this kind of environment? You are murmuring about it. The other brother is pressing. And in the two times, speaking in tongues. So God will now carry a mantle and add to that brother ministry. Why? Because of the way he's pushing. Why? Because the anointing he has before will not be able to take him far. May God grant us understanding. And please, also, if you have questions, this is a family house. If you have questions, we are growing together. I want you to, 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 to be built up. That's what Acts 20 32 said. He said, I commend you to God and to the word of his grace, which is able to build you up. There is nothing that can build a believer up than the word of God. In Matthew 4, verse 4. Hmm. That shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of the Lord. If you are a believer, if you are a Christian, if you are a child of God, the only thing that will make you live is this word you are hearing now. The word of God. Paul said, I commend it to God and to the word of grace, which will be to build you up and give you an inheritance. It will not only build you up, it will give you an inheritance, an extra anointing, an extra grace, authority among them that are sanctified. People like you that are sanctified. May God grant you understanding. Everybody, like this, everybody carries anointing, but not everybody carries a mantle. Does that make sense? Just like everybody is a prophet. Every seer is a prophet. Not every prophet is a seer. Those that God brings into that category of seers, he knows why. We'll read the scripture now in Numbers 12, verse 6, and see what God said about Moses. Meanwhile, Aaron and Miriam were prophets. That's why we started the quarrel anyway. It's the only Moses that, that God speaks to. Don't God, don't, don't, doesn't God speak to us? God said, gay. Come, young, young boys and girls, come, come here. <laughs> Do you know that it was not Moses that reported them to God? So we and I should be careful how we run our mouth concerning men of God. It was not Moses that reported them. God that anointed all of them knew that Moses' anointing was extra. Because of the length it will go for him. Or because you hear from God every now and then. Some are, some are. You still see revelation. He was not telling his brother, is the only Moses that God speaks to? Is that why I did that? I did that? God spoke from heaven. Say, Miriam, Aaron, march to the door. I want to speak to you people. Everybody carries anointing, but not everybody carries a mantle. A mantle enables you to go into further distances. You can't ask for double portion anointing and the mantle will not be involved. Hey, I would like to close that definition of anointing or mantle and with that word. Let me tell you something that I just told you for that you may not understand. May God bless Elisha, even though it's no longer with us. Elisha was a man of deep reasoning. Elisha was able to discern that this man that destroyed 400, Marvin, you appreciate to yourself. Hallelujah. This man that destroyed 400 prophets of Ba or even more, carries something extra. I don't know whether it's the Holy Spirit that told him, or I don't know who told him whether it's Jesus. So that if I ask this man for say, a single person, he will give me his anointing. 
When God called you an act of ministry, we all came with an anointing. But not everybody came with a mantle. People that were given extra assignments, extra grace, extra responsibility are those people that came with a mantle. In the course of this, our teachings, the Holy Spirit will expose certain people to you and I that are living among us. That's the reason why I'm sharing this, not for any other thing. That you in your community in Australia, to those of you in UK, for those of you in Canada, in Oklahoma, in America, in Chicago, in Philadelphia, those of you in Southern Nigeria, in Kaduna, in Abuja, for those of you in Benin City, in Nigeria, those in Australia, for everyone in Netherlands, to will say, I know that there's something different about this man of God. He has been living in the same community with me. We go to the same church. But I refuse to ask for the grace of God upon his life. Not Elisha. Elisha said, I will ask for the two. Know how I must catch one. Thank you, Holy Spirit. What did Elijah say when Elisha asked that thing? Elisha, Elijah paused. He said, hey, what you have asked is very hard. It's a hard thing. I'll go and check the Hebrew version. How they put that hard thing. I believe there will be more to it. He said, what you have asked is a hard thing. How did you know that I carry an extra anointing? For those of you that may not know, those of you that will listen to this message later, by the help of the Holy Spirit, I'm a revelational preacher. I rely on the Holy Spirit to show me things that I share with you people. And as I was digging, I discovered that Elisha, you know, you know the anointing that Elisha was to take to heaven, Elijah, that Elisha asked for. The mantle he gave him for the seer's anointing. Elijah was, I knew that by the help of the Holy Spirit. Elijah was taking the seer's anointing back to heaven. But he could not have time to use it. But he had it. But when Elisha asked for a double portion, Elijah said, Ah, you are asking me what I didn't even use. How did you know I carry an extra anointing with me? You will never see that part, that, 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 that storyline in the Bible again. We have somebody ask for double portion of the anointing of a man of God. If he has asked him, please, can I have your anointing? Elijah will say, take. But when he asks for double, Elijah says, ah, you ask me for anointing, you ask me for the cloth. What he was asking for is the cloth that Elijah, Elijah wore and the cloak on top of it. Everything he asked for it. As we are going to pray tonight, I don't know who God will lay in your heart. We have 30 minutes to go. I don't want to be too long. So you go and go and pray. And pray for me as well when you are praying. Say, Daddy, bless Apostle Marvin again when he come on Friday. Let every altar be hot around him. I don't know who God will lay in your heart. Don't, don't sleep like that this night. If I'll be sleeping before. I, I do not sleep. When I get to work now, I'll go in tongues. Holy Spirit, I, I've... I share one prayer point to pray it. I'll be praying it so that if something happens to me, not say Apostle Mavi is not sharing everything with us. God is my witness. I'm sharing everything with you people. Everything that I know. That's why if you hear me say thank you, Holy Spirit, know that that thing just came in my administration. For years to come, it just came. Daddy, we pray the prayer point when we started. Daddy, the things you are hiding in my life, in my marriage. That is that which belongs to my ministry. The job that I'm doing, the business I'm doing, the things you are hiding in it, reveal to me. Ephesians 1 verse 16 to 17. He said by the revelation of the Holy Spirit that the, your eyes of understanding may be open. That you will know. You will know. In John 16 verse 13, he said when the Holy Spirit will come, it will guide you into all truth. It will show you things to come. That, I, I'm not telling you something different. I'm not saying go and ask him. It's time to ask that day. So that we will not go back empty. If you meet him here, we'll tell you, you didn't ask me. He, that's John 16 verse 24. He's there. Go and read the Bible with my sister and brothers. He said, in that time, you have asked me nothing. You didn't ask me anything. Me. My second name is Askia. Mavi Askia. God, I told you people, I just finished praying that prayer. Lord, that thing which you are hiding in my ministry. Because the Bible says in Proverbs 25 verse 2, that it's your glory 
You love it. You hide things from us. And it's my honor to go and search it. What are you hiding? Daddy, reveal to me. Don't pray it with mouth. Pray with tongues. And look at that. Hey, you go, do, go, do, go, do. Hey, before you sleep tonight, Lord, that which you are hiding in my marriage, concerning my husband, show it to me. Hey, boost, hey, Lord, be a wife of prayer. Be a man of prayer, a father of prayer, a child of prayer. And, and especially by revelation. That's why Apostle Mary ministry is different. I don't pray on the 20 hour. Mm -mm. When I cast one light, I lift it up to heaven. One light, only one light. Isaiah 9 verse 8. It says, it said what is word. Just one word. And that will light up the whole of Israel. One word. One word, one word. You hold it. Write, write it in your book. Holy Spirit, that which you are hiding in this my life. Look at my life. Look at my children's life. Look at our nation. Pray for your nation. In the life of my president, what what you are hiding? Reveal to us. Because once we have seen it, we will take action. He told me when he was teaching me how to hear from God, he said, if they can hear by themselves, they will take action by themselves. I will not be there when you are praying concerning your family or your, your children or your business or that issue that is bothering your heart. Once you are praying, you will not drop a, a thought in your heart. I will show you in a dream. That's why I want you people to come to dream class. Come and learn how to interpret dreams. That, that way you will know all the ways that God speaks. You will not miss anyone. Don't play with your Christianity again. Those that are playing, let them be playing. Me. My name is Apostle Marvin Omede. We are going up. Up. <laughs> this is where we talk. This is where we tell your family. And I'm speaking to you. You may not be live with us here. Anytime you listen to this broadcast, know that I pray for you too. That God will strengthen you. If you are a minister of God, your, minister, your ministry will not be in vain. You will not be tired. You will not be weak. Why you are not envying anybody's anointing, but you are converting the best gift. What is supposed to have been talking about? That there are some ministers of God that don't know if they have a mantle. <sighs> Do I know where my mantle is? Do I know if I have a mantle? Am I a messenger? Who will get there? Am I a messenger? Or am I a mantle bearer? It's very easy. My ministry does not give room for guessing. If you are a mantle bearer, as you are listening to me, with the anointing of God upon my life, Holy Spirit will be telling you in your heart. Listen to Marvin, he's talking to you. If you are a messenger, I will tell you. And I will define who a messenger is and a mantle bearer is later. Let us continue. Let me read the last line again so you can write if you are writing. You can't ask for double portion anointing and the mantle will not be involved. Hey, hallelujah. <laughs> A secret. So if you if God has if God has <laughs> hallelujah, if God has revealed the person to you that 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 that, that perhaps we are a messenger. God, Elijah, well, Elijah was a messenger, Elijah. Elijah. So if God has revealed the person to you that is living in your neighborhood, or maybe it's your pastor, or it's your friend, or it's your father's friend, or it's your community leader, that and that God said that person is a mantle bearer. So when you want to pray, say Lord, the double portion of anointing upon that person's life, give to me. You know why? Because you're, you're able to discern after the ministry of Elisha that that person is a mantle bearer. If there's anything I want you to get from this class, and for those of you that will listen to this broadcast 10 years from now, 20 years from now, 18 years from now, don't forget to pray that prayer. As you are listening to me now, for those of you that are online, a thought is coming to your heart. See, I, I have been saying that, that that man, that brother, that sister is a mantle bearer. Say, Lord, this person that is a mantle bearer, release the double portion of the anointing upon my life. That is not a wasted prayer. Your life will catapult. Boom! But it just shows you you have, you have gotten a secret. Can a taking saw a prayer in the Bible? Ephesians 1 17. He prayed that prayer for more than he said, I pray for more than 800 times. Can I take it? In, in fact, he bought a Bible and now put the Bible on his table. That was not a regular Bible. He just bought it for, for the sake of Ephesians 1 17. Because he found something. Paul prayed for the Ephesians that I prayed to God daily that the eyes of us will be enlightened. You see the call of your glory. Why God call you to ministry? Why God make you a child of God? Can I take you pray that prayer over and over every day? He said, I don't know how many times I pray this. When I get to my study, I say, I pray it. Me. Copy, me, copy, <laughs> master copy. I went to go and buy another Bible. I put on my desk from Nigeria. I copy Kenetegi. I look every day. So, I fish once I would see. Father, open my eyes of understanding. Open the eyes of my understanding. Open the eyes of my understanding. That was in Nigeria. 
I came to America after so many years of praying that prayer. I began to see. I went to heaven. I had fellowship with the Holy Spirit. Just recently here in America, not quite long, two years ago, one year ago, I don't turn 22. I, I discovered something. Let me tell you what I discovered. I don't know how, how that will bless you. People will go to heaven and say, ah, they saw flower. They'll go to heaven. They say, they saw, they saw grass. They saw color. I said, Mom, Daddy, why don't I see those things? I've not seen them. They saw streets. Ah, I only read them in book. And I said, no. I raised the prayer points. Lord, open my eyes like broad daylight. <laughs> Holy Spirit, I want to know the power of prayer. So as I gave you that prayer point, I was not joking. Go and pray it. Double portion upon your life. I said, Holy Spirit, open my eyes like broad daylight. When next I come to heaven, heaven open my eyes like broad daylight. Lord, open every day I was praying the prayer, every day. No, don't show me little, little thing. Open my eye like broad daylight. Let me see everything that I see it on my street in heaven. I pray, I pray, I pray, I pray. One day, when I finish praying kingdom advancement prayer, praying for church of God to grow, praying for everything to be okay, I will not pray, Lord, open my eyes like broad daylight. This day I was rushing to work. I forgot to pray the prayer. As I got to the bathroom, Holy Spirit said, Marvin, you did not pray your prayer. I said, Daddy, which prayer is that? Ah, Marvin, you don't know your prayer again. Holy Spirit was talking now, not me talking. He said, so you don't know your prayer again. The prayer that used to disturb heaven. Open my eyes, brother. Like, I began to laugh. I laughed. I will never forget that. I, I, I must have written it down. It, I, for you to know that all your prayers, heaven is hearing it. Thank you, Holy Spirit. So I should tell you, tell you. He said, you are not serious enough about your prayer. That's why it, it's not answered. If you are serious about it, you will not stop praying it. You pray 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 it. Remember that story in the Bible when Jesus gave a, a, a parable? He said the woman followed the wicked king, judge. He followed her. The judge said, I beg, I beg, come, come, take, your, come, come take, take your request and go. Yes, she got her request. Lord, open my eyes like broad daylight. After that day, the Holy Spirit came and met me in the bathroom and I said, Mavi, you did not pray your prayer. As I went to a counter, pray your prayer. As I went to a counter, that's when I saw the street of gold in heaven. I saw Jesus Christ, I saw children in heaven. I saw the tree of life in Revelation 22, verse 1 to 2. It's a tree of life, water of life. I saw it. I saw the mountain. I saw colors in heaven. I saw uh, the temperature and atmosphere of heaven. Don't limit yourself. Ask. Your father has everything and is able to give them to you in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, hallelujah. <laughs> Where in, who is the messenger? Let me treat with a messenger for some five, ten minutes. Then uh, if you have questions, ask your question. Type it on YouTube. I'll say it here. Then we'll, we'll call it a day. We didn't even go anywhere in this class. Ooh, we didn't go anywhere. But it's okay. It's okay. It's recorded on YouTube. Go back tomorrow. Go back next month before next Friday. And make sure you know what a mantle is. What a messenger is. Then the prayer point I gave you, pray the prayer. And let's meet next Friday and see whether... Things will not change for you. Let me tell you, some of you will discover that you are a mantle bearer from this platform. And some of you will discover that you are a messenger. But you know the beautiful part of being a messenger? You won't miss your mantle bearer. Ah, Holy Spirit has spoken again, Daddy, thank you. Daddy, thank you. He said there is no messenger that will not meet your mantle bearer, except they are not serious. In their lifetime, this just came fresh. What I'm telling you, it just came now, now from heaven. When he said, thank you, Holy Spirit. He said, there is no, ah, daddy, you are too much. There is no messenger on earth that will not meet their mantle bearer before they die. Most times when they meet them, they are careless about it. There will not be a messenger except God has ordained a mantle bearer for you to meet. There is no messenger that will not encounter their mantle bearer. Who is a messenger? Quickly. A messenger is someone with the call of God upon their life. Whether conscious or unconscious about it, or aware or unaware about it. Until God make himself known to them. Very simple definition. Who is a messenger? A messenger is someone that has the call of God upon his life. Right? Whether you are aware of it, like most of us, we don't know we have the call of God upon us. We are only thinking, it's like God has called me to ministry. It's like I have a call of God. I only feel that I'm a pastor. 
I only feel like I'm an evangelist. I only feel like I, 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 I'm a chorister. There's an assignment God has given to you. You may not be a pulpit pastor. So not everybody will be a pulpit pastor. There's a place for you in the body of Christ. Every time you hear the word of God, every time you, you, you see fellowship, something drop up in your heart and begin to tell you, you have an assignment. But you don't know what that assignment is. You don't know your area. That's why God is bringing you here. If you are here tonight, it's not a coincidence. No. There's a purpose. That's why I, want, I don't want you to miss. I don't want to miss it too. He said, there is no messenger that will not come in contact with their mantle bearer before they die. Except whether they are serious or not. Just like the story of Elisha's servants. Gazi, for how Elisha trusted him. It was Gazi that Elisha gave his rod. When the Shunammite woman lost his son, he was coming to come and meet Elisha in the house. Elisha tried all prophetic means to discern where the woman was coming. Go and read your Bible, Second Kings. He said, I, I, I can't know why this woman is coming. He said, but the Lord has hidden it from me. He now gave Elisha a gazi, his stick. Go and heal the boy. Nothing. Because the art of gazi was not right to God. May God help us including me, that our heart be right with him in the name of Jesus Christ. I do enjoy this class. If you are blessed, just say I'm blessed. Please, I'll beg you again. I'll beg you. You say it's free. I'll beg you again. Leave anything you have gained. Even though it's after, when I when I say uh, after our prayers now, if you wrote anything down, help me type it there. I too would, would love to read what you, what you got so that I will not ask for more. I'm very hungry. I'm not, I'm not satisfied yet. He said, either hunger and taste after righteousness, they shall be filled. Please type something there. Type where you, where you wash us from, or you are from Nigeria, or UK, Canada, or America. Even though you stumble on the channel. And don't forget to subscribe. You see, your brother is trying his best. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Please thank God for my life. This, see, by the time we finish three months of this weekly broadcast on YouTube, your life will not be the same again. You will know you met somebody. <laughs> Don't just come here ordinary. That's what I'm just begging you. Come prepared. Hmm. Come. You will hear things you have not heard before. Come prepared. I thought we won't finish about Manto and Messenger today. We never, we, we never got into a quarter of it. The Lord has already given me topic for next week before. Part two. This thing will have part two. Message, message, uh, mantle and message will have part two. So don't worry. Even when I travel, I will still be teaching from that side. It's online. So you are here for a ride. <laughs> if you don't have a book, go and get, go and get a book. This is Apostle Marvin's ministry. That is as, as, as if we are playing. But we are very serious here. I did there. Thank you, Holy Spirit. So where was I? Who is a messenger? You, you, tonight, you cannot know it's a messenger who, 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 what a mantle is. A messenger is someone with the call of God upon their life. They may know or they may not know it until God confirms that call, until God brings it to their knowledge. The scripture is Numbers 12, 6 to 7. It said, There's any prophet among you, I myself will make myself known to him. Numbers 12, 6 to 7. The power of a mantle and the mantle bearer. Let's quickly just say a word about that then before we call it a day. The power of a mantle and the mantle bearer. The man and his mantle. Elijah being put to use. A touch, a card. Let's go there, let's go there. Let, let, let's go there. If you have your Bible, open with me, please. Open. Open your Bible. Let's go to First Kings 19. Let me show you something there. Me, I'm enjoying this class. I don't know for you. I'm just being blessed. First Kings 19. The man and his mantle. First Kings 19, right? Yes. 19 verse 9. Okay. Then let's go to 19. 19 verse 19. 
Yes. Go to First Kings 19 verse 19. Go there, go there. I want to show you something there. That is why I want you to know who you are. Whether you are a messenger. If you didn't get any to Marvin, type something. I'm not saying anything that you people are typing. Let me be typing by myself. When I finish typing, I'll teach. We'll just hold on. Let, let's be doing it. I know what I'm talking about. I go back to this to read them. Are you a messenger or you are a, man, you are, you are a, a mantle bearer? Because if you are a messenger, you will know how to handle certain things. Thank you so much. God bless you. God bless you, brother Femi. I can see Susan. God bless you. Hmm. If you are in First Kings 19, verse 19, let's read. It says, So he departed tense and found Elisha. This is a, a mantle bearer that knows he is a mantle bearer. And found Elisha, hmm, the son of Shaphat, who was plowing with, with 12 yoke of oxen before him. Elisha was in his father's farm. And he be with Twift. And Elijah passed by him and cast his mantle upon him. Elijah did not call Elisha's name. He just cast the mantle upon Elisha. When I read this part, I said, what is happening here? See verse 20. And he left the Aussie and ran after Elijah. He didn't say a word. The power of a mantle. That means a mantle speaks. When we get to the characteristics of a mantle, you will say a mantle speaks. He just he, 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 didn't, he didn't call his name. He didn't introduce himself. He just dropped a mantle on top of Elijah. Elisha, Elisha got confused. <laughs> Power of the Holy Ghost. <laughs> Zagada, gada. Erodo. Hey. You reign. <laughs> Holy Ghost. <laughs> ah. May, may God power drop in our days. You ancient Zion King. Kadosh, Kadosh. You are mighty on your throne. God is awesome. <laughs> you reign. You ancient Zion. We worship you. Kadosh, Kadosh, you are mighty on your throne. Break forth, O fountain of the deep, is worthy to be praised. <laughs> Baba, <laughs> he sent Elijah to go talk to Elisha. Say, Elisha, you have been called to ministry. Where the man that bears the mantle, <laughs> that knows who he is, that knows himself, ah, it's the day that do know their God, they shall be strong and do exploits. He said, I don't have time to talk. The, 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 the anointing is moving. When he got to Elijah, he looked at Elisha. He said, take. And he walked past. Elisha was begging. Hey, man of God, let me go and tell my father. I will serve you. I will follow. Let, let, let me just go and take excuse. Don't, don't go too far. I, I'm coming. He slaughtered all the horses. Slaughtered everything. Make porridge. The community ate. And he gave them their farm. Moved into ministry. Right? Right away. No, no, no. That thing. No negotiation. Elisha did not introduce himself to according to the scriptures to Elisha. He just touched him with the mantle. The mantle. That's where the mantle and the messenger. The mantle. <laughs> you know why you should be excited? You know the ministry of Elisha. It's not for babies. Elisha. <laughs> that they were touched with the mantle. He said, Did my spirit go with you, Gehazi? Why I sat in my chamber? Like, say, Lord, open my eyes. No, open. I said, the church has shifted. Don't get stained or contaminated with the things happening in the world. I was teaching yesterday, I talked about Romans 12, verse 1 to 2. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, Paul was to the Romans. By the mercies of God, you present yourself as a living sacrifice. That's why Kenneth E. again, if you want to know his favorite prayer is, Lord, I rededicate myself every day, every day. I learn that prayer. Take it if you want it. Lord, I rededicate myself. It shows, Lord, I submit again. Use me again. He said, I commend you to God. I beseech you, I beg you, the people of Rome, present yourself as a living sacrifice to God. And do not conform to this world. Anywhere I go, I try my best to be a child of God. There's nothing in the world. Don't join them. 
I know it's not easy at times. I know you are trying. And God says that you are trying, but continue to push. Continue to push. My wife always quoted a scripture recently. She would say, I press forward towards the mark of the icon of God. In Christ Jesus. And I enjoy what she quoted that scripture. And I know what she's talking She knows know what she's talking about. That's a woman that wants to go far. I press. Towards the color. High calling of God. Paul said, I press towards the mark for the purpose of the high calling of God. In Hebrews 10, verse 11, I love that scripture. The Bible says, Abraham was looking for a foundation. Whose builder and maker is God? Why? From city to city, it was looking for a solid foundation that cannot be destroyed. You know what I'm talking about? We're about rounding up. You. Checking yourself this night again. I said something yesterday I was ministering. I said, no matter what you do, make sure you make heaven. If you don't make heaven, our 60 years, 80 years on earth is a waste of time. I've come to test it. That's what I'm tired of seeing. If I make mistake, I say, Lord, have mercy on me. I'm sorry. I'm tired. Jesus gave a parable. He said, when the woman found the coin, right? You know that the coin the woman found? The woman sold everything that she has to go and buy that treasure. That's the kingdom of God. Don't let them deceive you. There's nothing on earth. It's good to walk. It's good to love those you have. It's good to love your environment, love your car. It's okay. God also likes them. God wants you to be happy. But let your real treasures be in heaven. Colossians 3 verse 1 to 3. If you are not born again, put your treasures in heaven. Where nothing can eat them. No hurricane, no COVID. We take away your resources and your savings in the name of Jesus. Elijah, Elijah, thank God we are going. No, no, I've told my wife, I told everybody that no, we are going to heaven. No, me, ha. I told the devil too, I'm done. No, I'm not. not, not. There, there is nothing we do we dangle on my eye like this. Hey, 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 mommy, see Rose Rice, mommy, see Duplex. What, what, do, do fire, eh? Straight to I have some things to go and discuss with Paul the Apostle and Abraham. I have to go and share something with Elijah. We need to rearrange certain things. Uh, for war, for war. <laughs> eh? We are going to heaven straight. I don't care how many years I stay here. We are, we are making heaven. And you too, you will make heaven. Don't bother yourself. All this hey, promotion. Hey, I pass this exam. I face this exam. Let me tell you, when we were in secondary school, you do, do you know after university days, whether you get married or whether you get a job? You get a job, then marry. After marriage, children. After children. So many issues. Edit all of them, edit your life and focus on the main thing that is important. The other things will join you. That's Matthew 63. But you focus on the main thing, which is kingdom of God. All that things will join you. Someone, somebody was telling me at work yesterday. He said, You are in you know, American, there's only speak English. He said, You're always positive. You're always positive. I said, Yeah, I'm a child of God. He said, You Christian, are always positive. Yes, the joy of the Lord is my strength. Isaiah 26, verse 3. It will keep him in perfect peace, whose heart is stayed on him. My focus is on God. Whether I have money, I don't have money, I don't care. I will never be poor. So let's close with this. Elijah, a mantle bearer, knows himself. When he got to Elisha, so this man of God, I'm suspecting them. It, 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 why, why didn't he introduce himself? Ah, good afternoon, Mr. Elisha. Ah, are you Elisha? It's okay. And my name is Elijah. And God sent me to, you know, the old doing our days, like, cause respect, respect. God sent me to call you to ministry. So I don't know whether you, will, <laughs> whether you come to the ministry or not, but I just want to introduce it to you. At least, at least let the man know what you are about to do. <laughs> Hallelujah. I don't have time. But, but as I was saying in Nigeria, what did they hurt? That's it. If he was burning with anointing, he just came slotting all the prophet of Baal. What did they hurt? His anointing was burning. Wait, 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 what is your name? Take. He just dropped it. No hello, no hi. Just passed. Because of the anointing that was excess in the body, they flew into the mantle. And the mantle touched Elijah. Elijah got confused. I was begging to serve. May that be our portion in the name of Jesus Christ. The zeal to serve. In the scripture, it said, The zeal of the Lord has eaten me up, has overtaken me. May the zeal of God's work overtake you. That's what the enemy and your mocker will say. I'll say, Ah, ah. Somebody asked me in America, I said, Marvin, what is your, they asked me in English, he said, What is your motivation? 
<laughs> the person have checked my life. He weigh me. He check everything. Ah, his boy, what, 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 what is what, what is making him run after God? I don't, I don't see anything around his life. He was making a big mistake. I have the joy that money cannot buy. I have the peace of life. When I'm about to sleep, don't don't play with my sleep. Oh. <laughs> he give me his beloved good sleep. I walk a lot. When I'm about to sleep, I just spray my bed. If I want to own this, I put on the AC. I say, Daddy, records kedosha, egwada, illegate gede, illegate gede, illegate gede, as the ushada. I go to bed and I always, if I remember, I'll say, Lord, supervise my dream. If you don't pray that prayer, I'll be praying it so that they will not bring nonsense dream to come around you. Say, Holy Spirit, supervise my dream. Then I'll just sleep. I'll wake up like a child. Last night I slept. Alarm could not wake me. I was so tired. I slept. I slept like a baby. My co-worker called me from work. I went to work. To sleep for free. In America, people are spending millions of dollars to sleep. To pay money, 30000 15000 to to doctor. Doctor, let me sleep. See, really? Why we are not mocking them? Because it's sometimes challenge. But we thank God for the gift of life and free gift to sleep. So I would like to close it here. And I will continue from... Uh, the man and his mantle. And then, uh, let me just give you insight into what to expect. Hallelujah. I'm so blessed. I hope you are blessed too. That's how God is moving his church forward. How do I know I carry a mantle? We'll treat it next Friday. And I wanted to ask you if I still have time. If you still have time, type on the chat. I'll read it. If Otherwise, I'm, I'm running because of you guys. I still have 30 minutes. If you have 30 minutes to listen, just let me know. If you don't have time, let me know too. I'll leave you guys to go. Do you have 30 minutes? Type on the chat. I'll see it. See, so, um, how do I know if I carry a mantle? Do you know God has a mantle? The purpose of a mantle. Is anybody typing? Do you still have time? Hallelujah. So we bless God. We appreciate him. <clears throat> We magnify him. Just begin to say thank you, Jesus. If you have any question, type on the chat. I'll see it as well. If you have any question, or if if there's no time to answer it, I'll answer the questions that you guys type today. Even if you can't remember any question, now maybe tomorrow, tomorrow is Saturday or Sunday, you have any question regarding this teaching, or you are listening to it again. And I'm speaking to those that may know was not able to join us live now. You listen to this broadcast on Tuesday, and a question arose in your heart. Please type it on the chat. I love questions. Because you know what? If I don't know it, I'm going to ask the Holy Spirit and we'll begin a conversation. God loves you to engage you with questions. You know? So, please, ask your questions. And if I see them, I'll answer them. Then we'll in our next class, I want this uh, forum to be a continuous learning platform by the help of the Holy Spirit. I hope you enjoyed the class today. We give glory to God for what you have begun to do in the name of Jesus Christ. The purpose of the mantle, characteristic of a mantle, the, the, the mantle bearer and the messenger, practical real life examples of messengers, we have not done that. Practical real life examples of ma uh, mantle bearers, we have not done that. Finding my place as a mantle bearer or messenger, ordained mantle or transferred mantle. All glory to God. So if we are still on the level of mantle and messengers, we have not done characteristics. So when are we going to get to mantle bearers and their messengers, the characteristics of mantles? Practical real life examples of messengers and mantle bearers, finding my place as a mantle bearer or a messenger, whichever you are, is very, very good. That's why I want you to know you are. Are you a mantle bearer or a messenger? If it's, it's not you and I that decide whether we are mantle bearers or messengers, it's the assignment that we were given in heaven. He said, from, right from the foundations of the world, you know, when we were when we created, He gave you an anointing. So that's what makes you a messenger or a mantle bearer. It's not on earth here, you don't struggle it here. So some people are here to serve some other people then before they will get their mantle. That's Elisha and Elijah. I don't want to give other examples now. We are not there yet, but we know what, what I'm talking about now. They served the church judiciously, faithfully, and they'll get the mantle. But others came with their mantle. 
finding my place as a mantle bearer or a messenger, ordained mantle or transferred mantle. Which mantle is ordained? Which one is transferred? And I have to put your mantle to use. We still talk about that. All to the glory of God. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. The little a little difference between YouTube Live and Zoom Live, but it's okay. I'm enjoying it because they just record directly, and you can always come here and watch anytime. It's been awesome tonight. If you are blessed, just type I'm blessed. Thank you, every one of you that came. I saw your name when I checked the chat. That's so why I said to leave a comment. As you left comment, I saw the chat. To the glory of God in the name of Jesus. Teresa or Joe, you are lifted in the name of Jesus. Sandra, God bless you. God bless you. Thank you so much, my wife, Pastor Gliss of Mendel, Luruko Jason. Thank you, Jesus, Suzanne. Thank you, thank you, everyone. That God Femi, you are lifted. Our sister Constance from Canada, you are lifted. Treasure, our baby is here, you are lifted. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, everyone. Our Pastor Glory is here, you are lifted. Our Samson, Pastor Samson, you are lifted. Osawa Romori, you are lifted. So God bless you. Pastor Grace of Mendel, you are lifted. Thank you so much, everyone. I'm really grateful. And I know that my people are blessed. So please join me next Friday. I want your questions. Let's continue. God is set to do a lot of things. I'll continue to ask from the Holy Spirit to reveal to you. And I know that I, I don't know when I will finish this series. Because look, look let, let me share with you what we are trying to do, right? I'm trying to see, because we know we don't have a physical church, right? But every now and then, God brings revelation to me. I want to have a place where I can share with you people. It's not about me, it's about you people that you can, can go and bless you. If it's only one word you pick for me and I will, ch will change your life, you are lifted. You go to, uh, to other people and, and replicate the same thing. And I don't want to say I'm a mantle bearer or a messenger, but you know how the God has quickly impacted my life with so much anointing within a short period. I want to be a partaker of it. I want to be a partaker. I want to be blessed by, by, by such anointing. So please, every Friday, for now, because I'm teaching from next Sunday, I'll be teaching on Zoom. Hey, hey, hey. For those of you that are here, whether you are in America or because those in America, they pay $200 for this class, right? Those in Africa, they, they don't pay. It's free, right? I may mean, give certain bonus to some people that came to this class. I'll check if you're in America or UK. So they may not have to pay. You will join the class. Otherwise, everybody in UK, Canada, and America, they are paying $200 to be in that class. But because you attended this first class, if I see your name there, you will cross, you will, $200 is deleted. Those that didn't come to the first class, they will have to pay. And they'll pray for us. I'll pray for a guest we are inviting on, on April 20th. Somebody is coming from, it's not coming from Nigeria. It will be broadcasting from Nigeria. I think it's somewhere in Kenya now it's ministering. It's a dream interpreter. So I'll be teaching dreams who we'll finish the basic one, which is the foundation. And from Saturday, 6th next Saturday, I will begin the advanced dream interpretation class. The first class will be the symbiosis of revelation and symbols. You will see dreams in another dimension to the glory of God. So God wants to equip you for days to come. That will be your testimony in the name of Jesus. So don't miss it. That's why those of you in Nigeria and Africa, that this class is free to you. Get that class and prepare every Saturday and Sunday. It's just six classes. That is a three weekends. Saturday, Sunday, Saturday, Sunday, till you know, we have our guests. It is well with you. And get a note and write. A time is coming. You know what I'm teaching like this? I will not be interpreting dreams for anybody. I said that dream is, I've said it, said it in the basic class. Complex symbolic i will interpret because you can't interpret it except you are very trained but for simple dreams or simple symbolic i will tell you to interpret it if i see that you're a very serious student like i told them, people are doing it already they will interpret and say for some of me i interpreted it see whether i'm correct i love that and most of you have been getting it right that's how to do it so i'm happy for you god is happy everyone, everyone is happy that the anointing gave me is not dormant I'm not sleeping on it. I raise the shoulder. No, let it, let it go out. Sometimes a dream can save your life, can save your family's life. A dream that is well interpreted can clean your tears. It is well with you. God bless you. God bless everyone. Please don't forget to pray that prayer. Lord, that secret you have hidden in my life, reveal to me. It's in Proverbs 25, verse 2. He say, yeah, I think it's there. Mm -hmm. It will reveal to you. Determine to 29. Say the secret things are of God. They reveal one uh, unto us and our children. Where's the one I showed you? Where's the secret I showed you? Go and ask him. Remember John 16, verse 24. He said, Either you have asked me nothing. Ask me, and your job will be full. It is well with you. Lift up your hands and say, Father, I thank you.
Thank you for tonight's class, Holy Spirit. Thank you for teaching us yourself. Thank you for the revelation of your word. Thank you for power. Thank you for breakthrough. Thank you for grace. Thank you for everyone you have to the platform. Thank you for using them to be blessed tonight. Thank you for using me as a vessel to reach out. Thank you for your grace upon my life. Father, let the anointing increase upon your children. From tonight to God, bring your place your word of in their heart of a mantle bearer and a messenger. Wherever, whichever part that they, you know, that the picture or the command. According to your counsel and your will, let your name be glorified in the name of Jesus Christ. In any father they qualify for, Lord, let them be used. Let them be used. Let them be a vessel in your hand. In the name of Jesus Christ, may we not be idle with your anointing. In Jesus' name, Lord, I have to pray for their protection as they go to their various places and sleep tonight. Their sleep shall be sweet. To wake up strong. To wake up revived. The resurrection power of Jesus Christ will be available to wake up anything dying or dead or dead damage in your body. In the name of Jesus Christ, whatever could not hold God, that will not hold you down in Jesus' name. It is well with you. Every knowledge you have received tonight will be multiplied for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Your grace will increase. Your anointing will increase. Your breakthrough will increase. Your favor will increase. In the name of Jesus Christ, it is well with you. You are lifted. Don't look down on yourself. Just follow God in commitment. Whatever God lets you have to do, do it. It shall be testimony in Jesus' name. Amen. Congratulations. It is well with you. God bless you. Have a good night. Don't forget to share. Please let everyone subscribe so that YouTube will help our ministry. Let everyone subscribe. Leave a comment. Leave questions if you have any questions. I will answer them. I think that's another thing to do it. Anybody don't send me questions on WhatsApp. Go, go to YouTube and send any question. I will answer it. If you send me a WhatsApp, I'll tell you to go to YouTube. <laughs> we have to grow this channel to the glory of God. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you. Good night. Good night. God bless you.